What about the first journey in your life? I'm talking about the first relationship. The children are here. All the children are here. Yes, man of God. And they are with you? Yes. Do you see why you should treat her well? Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes. That is responsibility you've given her. And she's attending to the responsibility. Yes. She needs your love. Yes, man. She needs your care. Please give her sweet names. <laughs> sweet <Sweetie. laughs> During the prophetic service of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, the man of God Apostle John Chi move in the midst of the congregation. And the Spirit of God leads him to give messages of prophecy to the people. As the Bible clearly states in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God has promised not to leave his people in darkness. Jesus Christ is the light of the world and whoever follows him shall never walk in darkness. Where is your partner? Alors, oh, les prophéties continuent. Hélène. Et l'homme de Dieu vient de demander à ce monsieur d'appeler son épouse. Et c'est quoi Go her, sweetie. Sweetie. <laughs> Go her the names that you have not been calling. <laughs> call it, call it. I used to call her Helene. Huh? <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. With the name? I'm happy. Huh? Man of God, I'm happy. What makes you to feel depressed? It's because he drinks a lot. Huh? He drinks a lot. He drinks a lot. Yes, man of God. Clap for Jesus. Acclamons ah, merveilleusement le Seigneur Jésus pendant que cette dame est en train de confirmer la prophétie qui est en train de sortir concernant son couple. He drinks a lot, and that makes you depressed. Yes, man of God. And it's causing the affection. Yes, man no of God. No affection. Yes, man of God. Because you people are in log ahead. Yes, man of God. That is true. That is very, very true. You need God. Yes, man of you God. You cannot continue like this. Yes, man of God. Okay? Yes, man of God. Yes. You need God. Yes, man of God. L'homme de Dieu est en train de dire à la dame qu'elle vit dans la dépression et elle confirme effectivement que cela se produit dans sa vie à cause de la situation de son mari qui est un alcoolique qui consomme beaucoup d'alcool et cela affecte son foyer. So, madame, Il vient de recevoir. The reason why I called you, I want you to release forgiveness. Yes, man and of forgive God. your husband. Yes, man of God. Okay? Yes, man of God. Yes. Forgive your husband. Yes, man of God. What about the first journey in your life? I'm talking about the first relationship. The children are here. All the children are here. Yes, man of God. Of the relationship. The children of the relationship. Yes. Where are they? They're behind. They are behind. Yes. And they are with you? Yes. Do you see why you should treat her well? Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes. That is responsibility you've given her. And she's attending to the responsibility. Yes. She needs your love. Yes, man of God. She needs your care. Please give her sweet names. <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> Alors nous venons de réaliser pourquoi l'homme de Dieu est en train de. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Madame is happy. Very very happy. So please, from today you will enjoy him. Thank you Jesus. He's a nice man. Thank you Jesus. Okay. Yes, my Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Alors la prophétie vient d'exposer. My name is Kijika Maxe. The person is next to me is my wife. The prophecy that man of God gives to me is also about my first relationship. He said, what am I uh, treating this woman bad? I confirm the prophecy. It's 100% true. So our brother says his name is uh, Mr. Maxel, and that next to him is his lovely wife, and that he's here to confirm the word of prophecy which God's servant, Apostle John Chi, gave to him to be 100% true. I married my faith wife. There's a lot of challenges. We have two children with you. I left the wife. I come in, I see this, my lovely wife. I fall in love with you. 
So he's explaining that the man of God gave him a first prophecy asking about his first journey, his first relationship. And the man of God asked him, do you see the reason why you need to appreciate this woman? So he is explaining that truly he had, he was in the first relationship. He had two children as a result of that relationship. But along the line, they had to go their separate ways. That was when he finally met his lovely wife who is next to him. As a married this one, there is no peace in the house. One problem to another, one problem to another. So on that Sunday, I come here, man of God located me and asked me, Where's my wife? So he's also explaining that when he got married to his wife in the house, they were always uh, quarreling. They were always at uh, loggerheads. So that was how he began to seek the face of God. That was how he came to the Ark of God's covenant ministry, where the man of God gave him uh, these words of prophecy. So when I end the walk, I cannot go back home. I will look for a place. Saturday I dream before I come back home. We will start a fight and apparently we cannot sit together, discuss like husband and wife. So my wife, very, after that, he told me that you see that this marriage with no hole. I say, why? He said, it's too much stressing. He's also explaining that since they were always fighting and quarreling, whenever he would close from work, rather than coming home, he would prefer to look for a place, to a shelter for himself, to drink, to take alcohol. And he got to a point where his wife told him that she can no longer tolerate that in the relationship and that she would prefer that they should go their separate ways. When I come back to touch my woman, it's a problem. She said I have consuming a lot of alcohol. Sometimes she do not sleep with bed. She go and sleep at the chair. I said, no, I don't like this type of a living. He said, no. The way I'm living it, to touch her, to look at the time I come back home. I come back home very late, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock. He said that it's not continue longer to this marriage. So he's explaining that whenever he would come back home uh, late and drunk, he would want to meet with his wife, but... His wife will always complain and say because he always comes home late and because uh, he is drunk. So she would not want to meet with him or have anything to do with him. That was how she would often sleep in the parlor on the chair. And she told him that she would not be able to continue like that in that relationship. Because of the problem, I decided to come to the church. The man of God located me, gave me the prophecy. So... Due to the problem, the challenge he was facing in his home, in his marriage, that was how he decided to come to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry to seek the face of God. As man of God give me prophecy and pray for us, I will see a lot of a change in my life. I cannot add work now. Around 7 o'clock, I make sure I will be home with my children then. <laughs> So he's explaining that after they received that word of prophecy, the man of God also prayed for them. And from that day, 7 p.m. does not meet him outside his home. And he's now keeping to time, coming back home regularly. Put your hands beautifully together for Jesus Christ. Now, I cannot take alcoholic. Now, we can sit like husband and wife. We we'll discuss how we get to, to look at the future of the family to look about the children. But the first time, I cannot hear that. When he talk about that, I said, you are disturbing me. I don't want to hear about that. So he's explaining that now he can sit with his wife together. They can discuss about their plans, the future of the home. Whereas before, such a thing could never happen. Now there is affliction in the home. When I want to come, before, before I end the work, my woman will stand for the door and wait me. If I don't come, we know it has. <laughs> are you just watching? Clap for Jesus Christ. So he's explaining that now he no longer takes alcohol and that the affection in his home has been restored. That when he is coming back from work, his wife is waiting for him at the door. Now there is peace at home. I really call my wife now, sweet team, bear, all those type of a name. It's now, I really see that the first time I really get problem in my home. Because when I enter house, there is very, 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 we cannot... Talk, even a child called me, I would be sad. I would say that I don't want you to you should leave this place. But now there is a lot of peace. There's a lot of joy in my heart. So I really thank God what God is doing for my life. So our brother is saying that now his home is peaceful and uh, there is love. There is affection between him and his wife. And he's now calling his wife all of those uh, sweet, sweet names. So can we hear some of those sweet names, sir? I used to call you Bay, sweetie, honey. 
Alors notre frère nous dit vraiment que Dieu a restauré son foyer. My advice is that when you get so tired of a problem, run to God. God will stop your problem. I am Madame Kijika Helen Shela. I want to confirm the word of prophecy given to us by the man of God, Apostle John Chi. The prophecy was that, where is your loved one? And I came out, and the man of God said that, you are depressed, and I want to confirm it to be 100% true. I want to confirm it to be true because I was really depressed. My husband, I can call it, I can call it that he was a drunker. He was a really drunker. He came back home very drunk. And when he came back home drunk like that, he would be behaving strange. The things that he would be doing to me, nobody can take it. In the morning when I would be telling him that that's what you told me, he would not accept. Imagine that when somebody comes back home, he will be telling you that there are women out there They love me because I'm too handsome. They are looking for me. They are bribing me. They are telling me that they, are lo they love him. And he used to tell me that my first wife, he's begging me that I want to come back, he wa that she wants to come back to his life. Meanwhile, with drunkenness, in the morning when I would be telling him that that's what you were telling me when you came back home, He will be telling me that I'm telling but a lie. There was not even respect. When he wants to send me, he will say that, Helen, go there and take this thing and give me. He can never say that, please give me this thing. Say that, go there, like I'm his child. I used to tell him that, no, I'm not your daughter. These are your children that you can command anyhow you want. When I'll cook food, as he is a taxi man, he will go down out there and eat his arrow very well. But we in the house, he want us to cook fufu corn and vegetable, to be eating it every day. A lot. As the prophecy came out that there was no affection, that is a hundred percent true. Really, there was no affection in the house. When my husband came back like that, when he would be trying to touch me, I would not accept it. I would say that no. Your wife is already your member that you are drinking. You cannot go out there and come back at one o'clock. When we are already sleeping, you said that get up. I will refuse it. After that, when I refuse it, he will force me and he will abuse me. When I'm crying, he will not even have time for that. He will just lie down there and sleep. That one will not concern him. One day, I went to one of my mother in the quarter. I told her that, Mom, as you see, This marriage is no more going. I want to go back to my parents because I'm not saying that this is the type of a marriage that I want for myself because this man like this is not good. As you people see him outside, smiling with you people is not what is happening in the house. There is nothing like affection in the house. You people can see us at the road thinking that there is marriage, but that one was not marriage. That day, he told me that You have a spiritual husband. That's why you are refusing me. We have to go to Apostle John Chi. That day, if he, if he don't deliver you, then I'm not Mr. Marcy. Une fois de plus, elle nous explique qu'un un jour, son mari s'est levé en lui disant que tu ne, me refuses, tu ne refuses pas d'avoir des rapports intimes avec moi en vain, c'est parce que tu as un mari spirituel. Alors nous irons chez le serviteur de Dieu, Apôtre John Chi, afin qu'il puisse prier pour toi. That is what he was telling me. And I told him that no, the thing that is disturbing me is because I'm angry with you. You abuse me. You do me so, so many such of things that I don't like. That's what made me to be angry. We came here. I was sitting behind, praying. That day, when the man of God, when the man of God is going down, I would say, that man of God, you are not seeing my husband. He's up here. Climb, climb. I was showing with the hand. Alors, madame, nous explique que 
Mais lorsque son mari lui a dit de chercher la face de Dieu, ici au ministère de l'Âge d'Alliance de Dieu, afin qu'elle puisse être délivrée, elle a répondu à son mari qu'elle n'était pas possédée. C'est parce qu'elle est affligée par le comportement de son mari. C'est pour cela qu'elle se comporte aussi de la sorte. Et lorsqu'ils sont venus ici au ministère de l'Âge d'Alliance de Dieu, l'homme de Dieu a commencé à administrer l'homme de Dieu à Porto Jonchi. Dans son cœur, il disait il a cessé, elle a cessé de prier en demandant au Saint-Esprit de localiser son mari. That fateful day, as I was praying, I want to open my eyes. I see you. Stand up. Where is your loved one? Say, praise the Lord. The God of Apostles John G. have answered my prayer. Effectivement, Dieu a accordé le désir de son cœur. That's how the man of God prayed for us and we were delivered. Now my family is free. We are happy. I'm telling myself, I'm asking myself that, is this the real man that I was living with? Because he is a changed man. He is a changed person. Clap your hands beautifully together for Jesus Christ. As man of God said, he is a good man. That's what the man of God said. This now the time that I'm seeing. He is very, very good. There is affection. Et une fois de plus, l'homme de Dieu, apôtre John Chi, avait mentionné que son mari est un homme de bien et il a également restauré l'affection dans le foyer. There is affection now. There is love. There is care. Everything in the house, the children now, he see it, that they are equal. There is nothing that this one is like this, this one is like this. The children now are equal. My own and his own and the one that we have in the house. All the children are us, the six children that we have. There is love in the house. Alors, elle peut confirmer que sa maison est transformée, son mari a changé, à la mouille et de l'affection, il n'y a plus la différence entre les enfants. Now, my husband can call me that name, sweetie, as he was saying, and honey. Now, there, there, he is calling me sweet names. There are sweet names in the house coming out, even to the children. Now there is no mimbo. He cannot even drink. At seven o'clock, the man is already back. I will ask myself, ha, Jesus. He used to come back at 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock. But now at seven o'clock, he's already back. He is a changed person. Put your hands beautifully together for Jesus Christ. Alors, madame est contente de ce que le Seigneur a fait dans sa vie. Dieu a restauré son foyer au point où son mari lui appelle déjà pas des petits noms d'amour comme mon, euh, ma chérie, mon amour, mon cœur. Et 19 ans, son mari est déjà à la maison. Elle est tellement surprise et elle est fière de ce que le Seigneur a restauré son foyer. I'm very, very happy with what the man of God, Apostle John Chi, have done in the life of my family. My family is now one. Meanwhile, we were separated, but now we are living as one family. Uh, there is joy in my heart. I'm really, really happy. My advice goes to the married women. If you have a situation like my own, run to God. Don't run away from God. Because when you come to, when you come to God, God will inter intervene in your life. Clap for Jesus. Alors le diable est venu pour séparer leur famille, mais Dieu est venu pour restaurer ce foyer que le diable avait détruit. Elle promet de servir le Seigneur tout le reste de sa vie, y compris sa maisonnée. I've already forgiven my husband. We are now one family with love and peace. Clap for Jesus Christ. Aussi, elle a déjà pardonné son mari. Ils sont déjà en paix. Peuple de Dieu, regardez l'écran. Are you just watching? Come on, put those hands beautifully together for Jesus Christ. My promise to God is that I always serve God for the rest of my life. My advice is that when you get this sort of type of a problem, run to God. When you run to God, there will be a solution there. So our brother is advising those who are out there and who are facing a similar challenge to run to God, and that God has a solution to all problems.
los esposos glorifican el nombre del Rey de Reyes, señores, señores, por cuanto ellos estaban ya al borde del divorcio a causa del desentendimiento en su familia, pero cuando llegan al ministerio del arca del pacto de Dios, el Espíritu Santo le dijo al siervo de Dios que tenía que profetizarles y de hecho le profetizó diciendo, preguntando al esposo que dónde estaba su amada y este rápidamente llamó a su esposa y le dijo que él no tenía que separarse de su mujer porque la mujer que él tiene es una mujer en verdad y la, la relación que él tenía antes, eh, los hijos de esa relación, fruto de esa relación están con esa mujer y esta mujer que hoy es su esposa cuida muy bien de sus hijos y la mujer está explicando que en verdad no había afección en la familia por la razón de que el esposo era un alcohólico abusivo, el cual después de haber consumido el alcohol viene únicamente solo para querer estar con su esposa como hombre y la mujer harto de tal situación comenzó a rehusarlo y eso le empujó al hombre a creer que la mujer tenía un esposo de las tinieblas, pero la mujer le decía que no era la razón, porque ella alegaba que la, el hombre no la atendía en tanto que esposa, no le trataba bien, le abusaba, y eso le condujo a que ella quisiera divorciar. Pero ellos al venir acá fueron localizados con esa palabra de profecía, y después de haber recibido esa palabra y la oración del siervo de Dios apóstol John Chi, la vida de ellos ha cambiado, la relación hoy es una relación fructífera, es una relación eh, que va bien, hay paz, entendimiento y mucho amor en su hogar. De hecho, glorifican al Señor por cuanto entró en el momento crucial que tanto lo anhelaban.